Hello, Scorpios. This is your X reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with, with Scorpio right now. Hmm. I feel like you guys are trying to find, you know, you're looking for the love of your life. I feel like this person you feel is the love of your life. You feel very drawn to them, very attached to them, wanting to work things out. Um, I think you're eager to tell them something as well. Let's see. Yeah, but right now I think you guys are feeling kind of stuck around this situation and possibly beating yourself up for something is what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Um, but definitely want to, you know, you want to have a new start here in this situation with this person, I feel. I feel you're very attracted to them. Um, and maybe you guys, you know, maybe you have offered something to this person. Because I did see the Nine of Swords there. And um, I don't know, maybe they turned it down. Maybe you guys are feeling like there's really nothing you can do right now. Like your hands are tied here. Let's see what's currently going on with the person that you're thinking about. Pisces individual there. You see the King of Cups in their deck. Um, very emotionally stable. They have control of their emotions. They probably are working a lot, trying to like gain some stature in their life, getting their finances together. And, um, you know, just planning out their life in general is what I'm getting from this person. Okay? Maybe they've been hurt before. You know? Maybe by you. And maybe they're just needing, you know, some time to recover from, you know, whatever whatever this Three of Swords was for them. You know, maybe um, you guys talked about some things and, and um, came to the conclusion that maybe you guys should separate for whatever reasons, um, whatever happened between the two of you. But right now they're just like in this resting period where they're trying to recover uh, from something there, okay? Yeah. And they feel like this probably was best right here with the Six of Wands right now. Best for everybody involved is just to kind of like, you know, go to your separate corners or what have you. Okay. So let's see how you perceive your ex here. Look at that as I split the deck, the Four of Swords again. Um, like they're taking some time to themselves. You know, kind of removing themselves from the situation to kind of reevaluate things and see where, um, you know, where it could possibly go or where you guys are going alone if you're choosing your own path away from each other, even here, okay? Let's see. Hmm. You feel like they're conflicted um, over this situation. Maybe there are, you know, some things that you guys don't agree on and, um, you know, you just you just have different points of view of how things should go. But all in all, you know, you still, I feel like, want to work things out with them. You know, think this can be successful, you and them, together, you know. But there, there's something that you guys, I feel like, are kind of button heads on. But... You know, there, there's something that you feel like they're not really, um, they're not really down with. They're not really getting with. Okay, now how they perceive you? I feel like this person has a very. They feel like you guys have a very strong connection for sure, and I think they are attracted to you. Maybe there's just like differences of opinions or you know something like that. Okay, let's see how does Scorpio's ex perceive them? Hmm. I think they know that you guys, you know, want to work together with them. But there's something that's keeping them, you know, away. Um, they feel like you guys are hurt. Um, maybe the fact that they have walked away, um, that they're choosing, you know, to be by themselves at this point in time. This Taurus energy there. We have Libra, Leo, and Pisces energy here. Um, but they feel like you guys are hurt. Um, but they feel like that... I think that they need to take some time for themselves here. They're not really willing to share um, themselves right now. And then here's the Six of Wands here again under the bottom of the deck. Um, and, and they really just want to take some time to themselves, feeling like that's what's best in this situation is what I'm getting from this, okay? Um, th this person, there's something that they're trying to defend about themselves. Um, and, I, and I'm getting that there was something that really hurt them before, okay? And um, 
they're really not trying to allow anything to interfere with their peace is what I'm getting from this. Yeah. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. Hmm. Let's see what Scorpio's feelings are about getting back together. Definitely. Would love to. Okay. Let's see. Thinking about it a lot, I feel. Wow. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you definitely want to be there. Um, get back together with this person. I do feel like you're very hurt. But all in all, I still feel like you guys are willing to work things out with this person. You know, you want to be there for them and them be there for you. Regardless. Through thick and thin here. That's what I'm getting from this, okay? Working on this thing. Building together. You know, willing to put the time and the effort into this connection. Whatever it takes is what I'm getting from you guys here. Um, working on yourselves even... But definitely willing to put work into this connection, you know, to bring this back together. So you guys can really build a legacy together. Build a foundation, a strong one. Okay. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. How does Scorpio's ex feel about getting back together here? How does Scorpio's ex feel about getting back together? I, I feel like this person, they really, they know that you are their soulmate. They really do. They know there's a strong bond between the two of you. I just saw the Six of Cups. Now I split it and there's a Three of Pentacles. Compromise. They know that in order for them to be with you, okay, that they're, they're going to have to compromise. And I don't think that they're really that willing right now because they're really just wanting to be selfish. There's something that this person has gone through, I feel. And they're just wanting to just focus on themselves right now. Okay. They're going through some major transformation and changes here. Let's see. Yeah, they think about it for sure. They think about it. If you can see in this picture, you know, this person's kind of hiding behind the curtain. Um, so they're not that, um, they're not all in, okay? There's still some other things that they want to explore. Some other things they want to do. Some other things that they're interested in. And I think this is a very, um, you know, they're not self-absorbed. I feel like, this is somebody that has just gotten freedom after being tied down to hurt certain situations for a long time. And so they're just not really to, ready to dedicate, you know, their time and energy, I feel, to this connection, okay? I don't feel like there's anyone else involved. I just feel like it's all about them. It's all about them here. Building up their confidence, um, you know, just doing things that makes them feel good, okay? with that so let's see what you guys can do to bring this back together here look at that four of wands i guess be you know stable and happy within yourself you know focus on yourself for a little while um you know move on from this let go of any hurts that you probably feel um connected with this person and any past hurts from any other situation just kind of dealing with those things and just moving on past that okay Laying down the burden. Whatever it is that you're feeling, taking responsibility for, you know, taking all the blame. Don't blame yourself because I feel like this is, you know, them just really wanting to, like, be selfish for a little while. Because I get that this person has probably been, like, really selfless for a long time is what I'm getting from this energy, okay? Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking this because there's nobody else involved here if that's what you're thinking. Okay, this is all about them. This is all about what they've been through. Okay, don't overthink this situation because what you're thinking is, is 9 times out of 10 not true. Okay, nobody else is involved. It's all about them. All about them. Um, this person's trying to gain stability in their life. Okay, yeah. Let's see. I see the male person out there that they were coming to the door. How can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together here? How can they increase the chances of you getting back together? How can Scorpio's ex increase the chances? I, I think it's to make up their mind here. This person has one foot in and one foot out. I think they definitely know, you know what you mean to them and who you are. But, you know, here we go. Compromising, working together. 
you know, maybe getting some counseling if that's what's needed, um, you know, by themselves even. If they have like, you know, CPTSD or PTSD by yourself, um, whatever, whatever this is, it's like compromising, working together, you know, that's what that is. All right, so let's see. And they're still ending up with the six of wands under here, and you and you're wanting to work together with them, thinking that this could be successful, and I feel like it could. Um, I just feel like this person probably needs some more time. Okay, let's see what is the potential outcome for Scorpio and their ex. The potential outcome for Scorpio and their ex. Potential outcome for Scorpio and their ex. Ace of Coins, beautiful. I feel like you guys will definitely come back together and have a new start. And I think that um, I'm just feeling like, you know, God has his hands on this, okay? So I feel like this is for you guys to have faith. Um, have faith. I just felt tingly all over. There, there's a very good possibility that this will come back together and come back together soon. And it's going to come back together um even more solid, even more grounded, even more stable than before. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. We have Taurus energy here, um, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, and Libra, guys. Okay, and then look at what we have in the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Coins working together, working on this building. So keep the faith, guys. All right, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.